Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. What I've got here is the brand new TomTom Tom Go Premium. This is available in two different versions, a six inch version or the five inch version we've got here. And this is one of TomTom's latest satellite navigation systems or SatNav for short. And it's a really good system, it's beautifully designed. And in fact, I look back to one of the very first TomToms I ever owned and it looked like a little mini CRT TV. This one's super slimline and is packed full of features. So the features on this particular model include a five inch interactive touchscreen, lifetime world map updates, TomTom -tom services via the built-in SIM, IFTTT integration, also updates via Wi-Fi, which are very welcome, lifetime traffic updates, smartphone messages, TomTom -tom road trips, hands-free calling via Bluetooth connectivity. It's also compatible with Siri voice recognition software and the Google Now service. Inside the box, you obviously get the TomTom -tom Go Premium itself. You also get a really cool magnetic mount. Uh, this is a big, big improvement over what I've had with previous TomTom -tom sat navs and other manufacturers' sat navs. It's got a suction mount that goes on the windscreen of your car and then this magnetic mount to allow for easy mounting and dismounting of the sat nav itself. It's very well designed. On the back there, there's a ball joint, which allows you to obviously maneuver this into different positions so that you can get the perfect angle for your sat nav screen. Very, very robust uh, mount system. We've also got a nice long USB to micro USB cable. This is used to power the device and this in turn, assuming your vehicle doesn't already have a USB charging socket, uh, plugs into this 12 volt vehicle accessory adapter. So this would go into your cigarette lighter or 12 volt accessory socket. And then on this end here, we've got a USB port to plug in said cable. To get you up and running, there's also a really good uh, user manual, which guides you through everything you need to know to get your TomTom -tom Go Premium. Uh, up and running and directing you to your uh, destination. Now, I've used sat-navs for a long, long time. Uh, let's take a look at one of the routes in progress, and it really does give you some good instruction along the way. After three quarters of a mile, bear right, A219, Talgarth Road, then keep right. Bear right, then keep right. Keep right, then bear left. After three quarters of a mile, bear left, A306, Hammersmith Bridge Road, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4, Great West Road. Now we can go into the main sort of menu system and here we've got search for searching for a new destination or indeed we can add a home destination as well. We've got recent, current route, my places, my routes, record route, which is very interesting, allows you to actually record the route as you drive it voice control, parking, petrol station, trip statistics, and settings. There's also a help guide and a, an edit menu option. If we go into settings, we can actually change the appearance, and this includes things like uh, the brightness of the screen, route planning, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, updates, maps, sounds and warnings, voices, voice control. Uh, the list goes on and on, so it's a fully featured and very configurable system. When you're actually uh, navigating a route, you also get this nice sidebar on the right hand side of the screen. This gives you the time to reach your destination, the uh, length of the journey, and also these little uh, points of interest along the route, which you can tap onto, and then it actually breaks these out into a, an easy to tap icon screen. And then we can sort of drill down and tap on each individual one, and we're given further options to add to your places, uh, to search near that particular point, to add to the current route, and even get more information. This is really good, a really good feature for route planning. And I like this sort of side panel on the screen a great deal. I think it really allows you to get more information about the journey you've got ahead of you. So the big question is, is there still a place for a dedicated sat-nav? And I think yes. Now, of course, we've got sat-nav applications on our smartphones nowadays, but if we're using it on our smartphone, that drains the battery, and we should be conserving that battery power for when we want to actually talk to somebody, 
when we reach our destination. And having a dedicated sat-nav device like this with a very good user interface, very friendly and very good design, uh, and a dedicated uh, mounting option and really good directions whilst we're navigating from point A to point B, then the TomTom -tom does this very well. It does it exceptionally well. One of the original manufacturers of sat-navs, in fact, and they've refined the system time and time again to make things even easier to use. I love the fact we've got Wi-Fi updates on this as well, lifetime map, map updates on here as well. And I think it's a really good buy. It's a very nice design, very lightweight, perfect mount for mounting it to your windscreen. And I can definitely see me keeping this in my car. So that's it for this video. If you want to pick up one of these for yourselves, please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the TomTom Tom website. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Any questions you've got, pop them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in another video very soon.